Hey, I was taking the snakes out today, so I was going to go through each one of them one by one, just take them out and show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing. Um, I'm cleaning her cage because she just left me a nice gnarly poop over there. But this is my lesser ball python. Let me just make sure she doesn't have any bedding on her. Okay. <clears throat> Let me set her down in the light right here. You can get a good look at her. Man, she's heavy. She's getting, She's gotten big. But yeah, she's doing great. She's eating medium rats every two weeks now. And I just like these lessers. I didn't think, because I mean, they still have the pattern of a normal. I didn't really, I never was really into those. I like, I didn't like the ones that were similar to normals, but this lesser is so much different than normal. It's just lighter in color. It's got nice browns and tans that I really like. And her belly is like completely white, which is really cool. Um, she's a great eater. I don't think I've done a video on her, now I think about it. So this is, this is her first time being shown. And she's about a little over four feet. So she's probably going to, you know, she's going to get girthy. But she might be at her maximum length at the moment. But yeah, she's she weighs quite a bit. I don't have a scale. I don't weigh my snakes. But she's a... Let me get the camera back a little bit. There we go. She's a big girthy girl I mean she's she's a nice looking ball python so let me I'm gonna put her back and I'll move on to the next snake so she's still in her exoterra 40 gallon and I'll take this butter out it's kind of jumpy there we go he is actually pretty big he's about a little over four feet too which is a good size for a corn snake I mean that's about maximum size he's a male for sure and uh, if you watch my corn snake eggs video uh, it's in my it's on my channel uh, they did end up mating uh, I did see them hook up she she ended up laying 14 eggs for me so she and she hooked up with both my males I well I saw her hook up with him and he's a younger male so I'm I'm hoping that he's the one that took because these two have more potential for better genetics and better looking snakes than the, uh, the nannery. The nannery, they'll all come out normals, but the, um, but you know, normals are, are pretty too. So I'm not going to be disappointed, but, uh, yeah, he's, they're, they're just gorgeous. I love, I love these butters. They're just, they're just gorgeous snakes. Uh, I do get a lot of compliments on him. Um, he's one of the better looking butters that I've seen. He's uh he's just a nice looking snake. And he's kind of getting jumpy. He can he can smell the female. Um, but nope, he's not bringing not again this year. So I'll put him back. Get another snake out. So my reverse okati. She's doing great. She's eating once a week right now. She's about a little over three feet, about three and a half feet. She is, she's you know she's. A lot smaller than my males but she's perfectly fine to breed I mean she's over 300 grams and I, I did I, I weighed her because for breeding purposes and she's over three feet and she's over three years old so I, I gave it a shot and she took and she did fine she um, it's thundering right now I don't know if you can hear that but um, yeah she's she did really good on her first time. I was really impressed. 13 fertile eggs out of 14. Uh, and one of them looks infertile. But, you know, until it starts really rotting and going bad, I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess with it. You know, it could it could be a miracle. But I have candled him, and I don't see anything in that egg. But, yeah, she's doing really good. Um, let me get to the annery. Okay, here's the annery. He's uh, in shed right now, so he's not looking his best. But he is, he is a gorgeous snake. Uh, a lot of people don't understand why he's, what I see in these anneries, because it's basically the lack of pigment, right? So a lot of people don't understand why you would want to get a snake like this, but they are beautiful in their own way. Um, they're really gorgeous snakes, and I'm hoping maybe I can produce some of these. Um, so if he took to her, if they if they were the ones that made it and it was his sperm, they would come out normals and they would be carrying the gene for annery. So if, it, if I bred one of those babies, female babies back to him, I could get anneries be a 50% chance of getting an annery. And then I could work my weights towards a snow corn snake, um, which snow is a combination of albino and annery. So that'd be an interesting, that'd be a cool project. So I can either go for butters with him, 
or I can go for snows with him. So I'm going to move over to one of my, my larger snakes. So now we're going to look at my blood python, see how she's doing. She's been doing great as well. She's still on newspaper, which has been working out really good for her. Oh yeah, she's looking really good. So she's eating medium rats still every two weeks. Uh, I should probably push her back since she's getting so big. But, uh, uh, give me a second. But, uh, yeah, she is doing really good. Oh, yeah, it's okay. She still huffs and puffs. She still gives me some attitude. But, you know, she's just, she's always been like that. I don't know if it's just these Malaysian red bloods. Maybe I would have a better better experience with a Borneo or something, but... I mean, these, these Malaysian red bloods can be kind of testy, even though she is captive bred. So I can only imagine what the wild caught ones are like. But I mean, she doesn't thrash about or try to attack you or anything. She does really good. She just gives you a little huffs and puffs, you know. Like I guess it's normal for a blood python. But yeah, she's she's getting really big for this tub already. Uh, when I moved her in, she she had tons of room, but she's getting big. She's getting really really girthy. I mean, she's just a a big girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my boa. All right, and here's my boa, and he's still got that lock. I'll take that out, and then you just slide the glass like this, and there he is, staring right at me. Probably looking for something to eat. He's always hungry. He would eat probably every day if I let him. But yeah, he's a really good. He's, she's getting really long. He actually, um, I'm happy to announce, he actually hit the six foot mark. He's actually six feet long. And, uh, man, he's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get out. I might have to put the camera down to get him out because he wraps his tail around that log and stuff. But a little bit of the cage, um, like in my other videos, still still the same. Seems to be working out for him, so there's no reason to change it. Um, this is a water bowl, which I probably will change out today. But let me get him out. Hang on. So here he is climbing over my blood pythons tub but yeah he's he's just a big he's getting girthy too uh he's he's still eating he's eating large rats every three weeks now uh to a month just i vary it because you know in the wild they they don't eat on a schedule so yeah he's he's got a nice square body look he's not obese he's not he's maintaining a really good body shape uh people have a history pe people tend to overfeed these boas and I've read books and stuff about these boas that people have actually studied them in the wild, and they say that boas actually grow better when they're not eating because the body focuses on growth versus digesting, and the boas just do better um, feeding less often, especially at the adult size like he is at six foot long. I mean, people people would still be feeding the snake a large rat every week, every two weeks. Uh, that seems like it'd be way too much food unless you know you just. You power feed the boa, but this is this boa will lat, will live a very long time. He's he's very healthy. He has no signs of fat. He's very active. Um, so you have to base it on the individual animal. Some animals might uh, eat more than others and might lose weight faster than others. But uh, his, him individually, every three weeks to a month is plenty of food for him. And like I said, he gets a large rat. Um, I may get jumbo rats soon just because i think yeah maybe I, I could extend the intervals a little bit more so maybe like six six to seven weeks maybe but he is a male and he's not gonna be you know breeding anytime soon but yeah he's he's looking really good really good feeding schedule but maybe i'll probably make another video about the specifics on him since this video is getting kind of long but uh yeah thanks for thanks for watching guys all right bye